For more on the Oilers' victory, we're joined by our TSN hockey analyst, Martin Biron. So, Connor McDavid and the Oilers cruise to this 4 0 win over Sidney Crosby and the Penguins. Marty McDavid with his 289th career multi point game, yep. but he's now eight points within Nathan McKinnon for the league lead in scoring. Marty, what percentage would you put on him winning the Art Ross Trophy this year? I'm putting it at 75%, and it's climbing. I'm telling you. So, about a month and a half ago, McDavid was 18 points behind Kucherov and 17 points behind McKinnon. He gained 14 points in six weeks on Kucherov, and he's gained nine points on McKinnon. And now he's eight points back on Nathan McKinnon with two games in hand. I know individually you don't count games in hand, but if both players play the rest of the season, all the games for each team, McDavid will get to play two more games than Nathan McKinnon. He has just been on fire of late. And for me, when I look at Connor McDavid, a guy that has been there that can go on long streaks, right? Multi-point games for multiple games in a row. I say it's McDavid's trophy uh, to lose. I, and really, he's, you know, he's eight points back. And I understand that it's going to be a long way and a long road ahead for McDavid to get there. But I still think I'm giving him a 75% chance of winning the Art Ross, the scoring, uh, you know, title in the NHL. And I still think he's going to get to 100 assists this year. And if he does, I mean, if he wins the Art Ross, 100 assists, it's going to be hard not to give him the Hart Trophy. In a year where yeah. guys like Kucherov, McKinnon, even Austin Matthews, if he's going to score 70 goals, there's going to be a lot of debate there. But let's talk about these Pittsburgh Penguins where... It's ugly. Pittsburgh just one win in their last seven games. They're outscored 15 to one over the last three since the Jake Gensel trade. So we know this season, Marty, has gone terribly. But how confident are you that Kyle Dubas can turn it around and make them a playoff team next year? I'm not very confident. Look, it's going to take a lot of work. But the problem now with the Pittsburgh Penguins is that they are, you know, probably going to miss the playoffs for two years in a row. They have 11. Their top 11 players, when you look at their payroll, are, all have some sort of uh, trade protection, right? So you can't just move them wherever you want to. All the top 11 payroll guys have trade protection. And seven of those 11 guys are over the age of 30 years old. They are aging and it's not going the right direction for most of them. Now, if you're Cal Dubas and you're looking at, ah, you know what? I got to give Crosby a chance to get back to the playoffs with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Well, maybe you're looking at Evgeny Malkin being on the on the block this summer. You know, he still has term left at just over $6 million. But this is, again, an aging player. But I, I only look at really, really significant moves for the Pittsburgh Penguins to get back to the playoffs. If not, if you keep Malkin and Crosby and Latang and Carlson and you kind of go down the same road. It's just going to be, uh, you know, history repeating itself for two, three, four seasons in a row. Well, when he was hired, Kyle Dubas said, I'll bet on Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, and Chris Letang. Well, it looks like he's going to lose that bet for one year. It's just hard to imagine the Penguins without that three-headed monster. But, yeah, it feels like something's got to give this offseason. All right, Marty, stick around. We're going to get your thoughts on the Flames, who were also in action on Sunday.